uh, with the Peter Dickerson Sprint Car Memorial Classic with points going toward the season point scores for the Winfield Series and the Travelers Tours Prize. Okay, attempting to form up into rows of two. 15 laps will be the journey. All set to go this time as they run out of turn four. But Gary Winterbottom says no go and pulls them back in the line. Again, they come round to greet the starter, but the, uh, the steward has his hand in the air. Front row drivers, of course, now both from, uh, from Wollongong. Lloyd Cleaver in car number 66. And Johnny Hotchkiss sharing the front row in the number 21 car. Okay, Bob Wilbur is in, out comes the green and racing in the Peter Dickerson Sprint Car Memorial. Johnny Hotchka for all the race leader, Roy Kruger. Drops back into second place, Bruce White is quick to move and take over third. Bobby Hill in fourth, next one through is Rob Bolt. Then comes Rob Dudley moving through on the inside. Oh, and Gary Rush drops it back with John. Turn three and a cloud of dust. Just uh, kicks away again, almost as extreme room in the field. Meanwhile, Blackhead is picking them up and putting them down, running out of turn two. Bobby Tunks is tailing the field also now, but the race leader heading off uh, turn four onto the main straightaway is Johnny Hodgkin. Next one through to his right. And uh, Ben Hill flies off the circuit on turn one in the 83 car that gathers it in again. Rob Rutley flies to the lead. Rutley goes through in the second. And uh, halfway round goes Bruce Wright to pull it down again. And uh, Rob Bolt is quickly on the hammer in the 39 car. And Blackwell up to position uh, five at the stage. Rutley the leader. So it's Rutley from Hodgkin. Next one through Bruce Wright. Rob Bolt and Blackwell kicking it right off the cushion. Bounces down, right on the circuit, bringing through, towards one and two, and Rutley the leader, no change, further back to uh, Hodgkiss and Bruce White, Blackwell in third, goes round the outside of right, Blackwell in third, running onto the main straight away, so it's Rutley, Johnny Hodgkiss and Blackwell, hit the street, takes the number one car, four to second running, Gary Rush to it, uh, almost the extreme rule of the pack and fighting hard for the, uh, to the slow cars further back in the pack. 21, 2 and the 3 lead out now is Rutley, Blackwell and Hodgkiss. As they race out at turn 2, Bruce White regains first running now, Bob Hill the next one through from the Rock Bowl. Again, on to the main straight away and Rutley attempting to make every post the winner as he works hard at the wheel of car number 12. Swings out at turn 2 with Blackwell in hot pursuit. Oh, and Rutley goes high on the 1, 2, 3, but uh, Blackwell's got his fifth. Bruce White planning for going around off from the uh, insert and rejoins further back at the back. Johnny Hoskins still holding down third down as uh, Bruce White attempting to get through on the inside to take over the third. Oh, and Blackwell now moving right on the car as they run through onto the main straightaway. Blackwell and Blackwell hard at it, very carefully away to the back with Bruce White in third. Ten laps completed and five left remaining now. Blackwell on the inside. Blackwell and Rutley wheel the wheel. Rutley still the leader. On to the main straightaway. Five laps left remaining for Rutley. Blackwell looking to uh, take the way through and head for three in a row. Still in second. A long shot back now to Bruce Bride and third running as the laps dwindle away. Side, it's Jimmy Robertson, they go on this time, Blackwell drives on the inside, on turn two of the streak, going to the lead, Blackwell the leader, New South Wales champion, Bob Bradley relegated back to second in the Gerlock car, on turn four, on the main straightaway, only a handful of luck with the lady for Bob Blackwell, in the Peter Dixon, Spit Car Memorial Classic, bringing out of that turn two, Bruce White, pulling third and just fighting back the challenges, on the main straightaway runs Blackwell, Back to Rutley, no change. Further back now to Bruce Bright. Started after Crown Bruce in the position in the right side now. Moving into the field, closing stage of the event. This time under the lane straight away. Right side after that Blackwell. The 
just there seen, racing laps completed, and under one remaining yard, he makes the final run. Down the back section, in the turn, two and four, Rumpy in second, Bruce Brown in third, winding it up that turn four, on the domain straight away, out comes the black and white, and the wind going to black wall third. Rob Blackwell, the winner, fast finishing, Rob Blackwell in the second hand, Bruce Wright will take third. Followed in now by Rush Bath, back then to uh, Johnny Walsh in the car 92. Further back to the uh, 21 car of Johnny Hodgkiss, then came Kev Worthington in the 49 car, and you'll probably find uh, further back with Vic Savage. Jimmy Robinson in the number 18 car, but the uh, winner of the event just concluded the 1982 Peter Dickerson Sprint Car Memorial Classic in the New South Wales number one car, Bob the Street Blackwater. Second in car number 12 was a hard charge from Rob Rutley and a good run to Bruce White to uh, hold the remainder of the field that day in car number 77 to finish up third. Now we have a race time of 4 minutes, 0, 0.85 seconds, 4 minutes, 0, 0.85 seconds, the race time for Bobby Blackwell, he's 8th main event. The top nights of action this season at the Parramatta City Raceway, not that each and every Friday night is, uh, is an action night at Parramatta, because it certainly is, but uh, tonight of course has been an exceptionally good one and we've seen some superb action and of course the, uh, the merit going out in uh, tonight's meeting of course is this fabulous Peter Dickerson Memorial Spring Car Classic and uh, we've got Peter's wife Sharon on hand with the kids to assist in the trophy presentation so I think uh, without further ado we're going to move on to the winner of the inaugural Peter Dickerson Memorial Classic and I'm going to call on the Parramatta fans to show their appreciation before I uh, hand over to Sharon to make the presentation Ladies and gentlemen, winner of that Memorial Classic, Bob the Street Blackhorn! Okay, I'll hand over to uh, Sharon now to make the presentation to the streaker. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank the promoters tonight for giving the, my daughters and I the opportunity of coming here. We feel extra proud of Peter tonight, as we always do. Um, he really loves Speedway and he put a lot of his life into Speedway. Um, in his words, it was a top race. I'm sure he's watching here tonight and he's glad that Bob's won it. I'd just like to congratulate you, Bob, and um, hope you have as much success next year in the race. Thank you. Uh, I just want to thank the, thank the kids and Sharon for this beautiful trophy. And I think um, Glenn Sharon's brother and the Robinson family and old Freno Dickerson here. Um, I guess the whole lot have been behind this and to win this for me tonight's really something special because I raced with Peter years ago when I first kicked off. We used to race to the pool in the dirt and we had a pretty good friendship and to win this, it's really something. It's just like winning a state title, I guess, and I really appreciate it. Thank you. Um, there's been let, made, let money donated by different sponsors and in the race. I don't know whether it's been in the program or not, but I'd just like to thank all them for their generous donations to the race. And also to all my hard working crew and Felshies for doing me motors and all my sponsors, their names are on the car, you can see them. I'd just like to thank them and thank you all for coming and I really appreciate this trophy and should be number one on the medal, please. Thanks very much. And in second place, a tough race all the way, and I think he may have thought he had it in the bag at one stage, but then this number one car come from out of the cloud. But I think you can put your hands together for a tenacious race. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Rob Rutley. Shout out to you. Now I've got the microphone back. I think Rob stole some of my speech. I'm so nervous I forgot to thank everybody. I'd really like to thank the promoters tonight and the Sprint Car Association, all the people who did sponsor the race, also to Tim and Ann for the race, and I'd like to give a special mention to my brother Glenn. He had a bad accident here 12 months ago last week, and I didn't think that he would come out here tonight, but because of his association with Peter he has, 
And I'd really like to thank him because it means an lot to me to think he was in the race. I'd also like to congratulate Bob after all that on a really fine drive. Thanks very much. Um, I never had the opportunity to know Peter, but I did hear a lot about him and uh, sort of, I never ever met him and uh, I'd just like to thank all those concerned for the trophies and his family and all that and his children, uh, his wife Sharon uh, and everyone else concerned. Um, and all those business houses that put up the lap money, I got a bit of it so I'm happy, you know. And, uh, I'd also I'd like to thank my crew, John Holloway and Rick McCann, Gary, uh, Dad, uh, my two sponsors, Gerlox, you know the brakes are working alright, it's pulling up alright, and Barlow the freight company. My bloke I'd like to thank most is Felshie, you know, we were sort of having a bad run there for a while and couldn't do anything right and he sort of stuck with us and a lot of other people give us away, you know, because we weren't firing them. He persevered and gave us a hand and that. And, uh, put a new engine together. We done one the other week, which was my fault. Um, he worked this week and worked long hours and, you know, he told me not to stretch it too much tonight, so I didn't. But there's, there's another big race coming up here, so just hope we get the breaks we got tonight. Thanks a lot. Put on your rock. Sounds like you've been at the, the Bob Blackwell Speech Therapy class there. Definitely a card and copy. There's a little guy over here who's probably run a thousand fans out there tonight to say the roost. What a drive. It's certainly been a long time between watering holes. Ladies and gentlemen, in for third in the Peter Dickinson Memorial Classic. How about putting your hands together for Bruce Wyatt? Bruce, congratulations. I'll hand over to Sharon for the final presentation. Thanks, Sharon. Congratulations, a very good drive. I haven't seen you drive much before, but I was very impressed tonight. I hope you have more success next year too. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Um, I think, as, as she said, it's probably the best drive I've had all year, and it's been damn lucky to do that. But um, I'm sorry it had to be on, on a night like this, a memorial night, but you can't say much about Peter that hasn't been said, I think, by Bob or Bob. But uh, at least now I have something more than a memory to remember a fine competitor and a, and a terrific player. Um, thank you very much to all the sponsors, who uh, was very, very well received, the late money, and so on and so on. And thanks to my crew especially who have helped me enormously with that car. And uh, I hope we can keep up the performances that are starting to show now. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr Bruce Wright.